You have just tuned in to the Mag Nerd Podcast. Your home for everything in music, anime, and gaming. What is up, guys? Welcome to the Show Enough Toy Reviews. I'm proudly here to bring you my review for the Dragon Ball Super Broly. Uh, this is from FH Figure Arts. This will be my official unboxing slash review. As you can tell from the package, this I got my product from Ami Ami. So uh, without further ado, guys, let's jump into this review and I will get back to you guys in a second. Alright, so I've already done the put them took the liberty to take the uh, tape off the immediate packaging, so let's see what we got here. And it comes with a cool insert. Uh, Bunny Girl Senpai. No, this is actually uh, Cha Cha Maru. I guess this is uh, the mascot for um, Ami Ami. This thing's well packaged. I actually ordered it from uh, DHL. And they delivered super fast. At first, it was actually not expected to be here until Wednesday, but I actually ended up getting it today, and um, that made me very, very happy. So, yeah, let's let's uh, adjust the camera a tad bit. This is a big boy. Let's get this out of the way. And here he is in all his glory, Super Broly. Now guys, like I said, I have been eagerly waiting for this thing to get in the mail. Uh, I, I'm just elated right now. So, as you can see here, official Bandai, get a really good look at the front. Uh, on the side, you have some artwork with a Super Saiyan form. On the back, we get, you know, static poses. You've seen this box before. Um, at the top and the bottom inside yeah sorry I mean you see one unboxing you've seen them all but uh, I want to get to the meat and potatoes and I want to crack this thing open and uh, we'll be right back doing that all right guys we are back I uh, just want to make sure I could safely take off the tape I know you guys don't want to see that boring part but here we go opening up the super broily packaging and oh my god this thing is amazing absolutely amazing i'm sitting down for a second all right let's take him out of the box and whoo look at this thing absolutely breathtaking ah so excited and uh we have bob's ears here his ear and again you get the detail of the Saiyan armor that you didn't get in the full power Super Saiyan Broly uh, this thing is absolutely amazing well worth the price of getting it early and uh, we'll look at the accessories real quick and then we'll get into the full review so here is the Super Saiyan heads so as you can see here get a close up this is him in his Super Saiyan form and I actually love 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 this head sculpt and I can just kind of tell from the look of it that it might not fit the uh, the other Broly but um you might have to check that out too later on in the video see if that actually fits we get the powered down Broly head as well um, it would have been nice to actually get a faceplate that matches this like basically get his powered up with a normal face but it looks like this is the only face we get and it doesn't come off it looks like it's the solid headpiece yeah it doesn't look like it comes off but if I know places like the monocle fit they'll be working on alternate heads for this just like they did with Gogeta and also fret not we also have the collar that goes around his head I'm assuming that all you have to do is pull his head off and put this down and it goes around so that's actually pretty cool as well and it comes with two gripping hands. All right, so that's the official unboxing of the Super Broly. Now I'll be back for the full review. We are back, guys, with the uh, actual full-blown review for uh, Dragon Ball Super Broly. 
uh, man, I'm just, uh, I'm ready to go. So we're gonna, now that we've done the unboxing, we're gonna get a close up of the accessories. We're gonna do some comparisons and I'm gonna give you my overall thoughts on this figure, good and bad, all right? Let's go. So let's start off with the base head, all right? So as you can see here, this is uh, Broly in his base form with the relaxed hair. And again, it has the awesome shading. It has the scar on the side of the face. And again, if you look under here, it's just a typical head port. All in all, very well done. Again, if I had any negative, I would love to have had a different faceplate to show him with an angry face as well as a relaxed face. But again, we are getting a lot with this figure. So again, it's not a deal breaker for me. And again, it looks awesome. We also have the semi angry face as a Super Saiyan. Again, this time around, we have the dilated solid white pupils. And again, I'll do a close up so you can see both at the same time. And again, you can kind of tell that his face is getting a little bit bigger with his hair getting a lot puffier. But again, very well done. Shading on this is perfect, even with the Super Saiyan hair. You really can't tell, but there is a slight amount of shading around the edges. is a little bit lighter than it is towards the crack center. So again, it looks really good. Love it. Uh, then we have the accessory want to get a close-up um, again if I'm not mistaken well I guess in the actual box it is just a solid silver I'd have to go back to the movie and actually check and see if it actually um, looks like this exactly but if it was a 100% movie accurate but the fact that they actually do have the collar in the actual box is a, is a bonus so um, I'm happy with that okay we have standard gripping hands Whoop. sorry about that we got standard gripping hands bigger than your normal sh figure arts but not as big as the full power broly that i'll show you later and we get a pair of beam hands now if i'm not mistaken Again, let me know in the comment section below. I thought that this was supposed to come with a pair of hands that allowed you to grip Super Saiyan Goku. Kind of like, you know, picking him up, like palm in his head. I could have sworn I saw that. Maybe I'm looking at a custom, but I could have sworn I saw that coming with this box. Again, I can't remember, so just let me know in the comment section below. All right, so let's get a close-up of the actual other head. And this is the midway powered up right before he goes into Super Saiyan and again what I like about this and is the the colors of the eyes and I'm hoping I can get this to zoom in and probably show yes so you can actually see the detail in the eyes as well the screaming from the tongue and the teeth I mean, this is just some really good and crisp work being done here. I mean, absolutely incredible. All right. And again, same material for Ba's ear. This one kind of flips up like this. And uh, while I'm at it, let me just go ahead and uh, should have done this beforehand. This is kind of unprofessional. Should have took the plastic out. Let's get into the articulation. And then we'll get into the, I'll show you how to take the heads off and all that other stuff. So arm can go out this far. Full rotation back, full rotation forward. Double jointed. Again, shoulder pads can go up and it looks like they can come out as well if you want, but I'm not going to take them out. 
but I love how they can move around a lot. It's like full rotation, so it doesn't actually hinder the arm movements. As far as bendability, he doesn't really have an ab crunch because of the actual metal piece here, but you can still move him back for like a screaming position. He can kick all the way up frontwards. He can kind of do a splitsville, but again, double jointed knee, some ankle pivot, not a lot, and toe does hinge, toe hinge, which is good, it's good. And again, from the back, you have the bow, and he can lean forward, but again, there is no, and again, he can twist. Looks good. Nice and tight joints. This is definitely a high quality action figure. Love it. Kakarata! Oh. You have to work on his uh his standing. So let's go ahead and uh, pop this head off so we can see what he looks like. That actually came off very easily. I don't know how I feel about that, but we'll see. So let's try first with the Super Saiyan head. Oh, let's kind of do this first. So you pop the head off. You can kind of put the bracelet around, the necklace around his head. And then oh, that. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. I love this figure. I'm like gushing. And he has shoulder pivot too. Oh, so good. All right, so here's Broly. Super Saiyan angry face with the collar. Looks amazing. This actually might be my favorite head. I might stick with this one or the other one. I don't I don't know yet. It's just ugh. Make sure you guys subscribe to my um Instagram, showing up the king, or my um actually scratch that. Subscribe to my Magnard Podcast Instagram because that's where I actually post all of my uh action figure post photos and that's where this video will be also posted as well on my YouTube. So that's that. Let's take this head off again and put on the normal head. And the head actually comes off very well. And I guess this is the head that most people were complaining about. He said his head was too small for the body. I don't I don't agree. I actually like it a lot. It looks like it's it's proportional. It it really does. Look, it looks fine. So you get a close up. Let it And you can see again how it looks with the necklace. Fantastic. All right, so again, unfortunately, this is one of those simple reviews. I mean, I guess now, if I can get him to sit up properly, there we go, I can kind of get him and do a comparison. So first up, let's do the Super Saiyan Vegeta, Super Blue Vegeta. And then we can get him next to the most recent Super Saiyan Blue Goku. And then we can also get him next to the uh, Super Saiyan Blue Gogeta. And finally, we can bring in this bad boy here for comparison the super broly and again you can just kind of see his full powered up state and it is just amazing absolutely amazing like i just feel like we got power should be just playing in the background oh i'm sorry and my pride and joy who could forget about him 
get them in a static pose. My other Broly. So let me pull him out to the side. Put him in the back. And here we go with the full McGillicuddy. Ah, love it, love it, love it. So what do I think about this figure? Overall, I'm actually very impressed. Um, I know there are a lot of people out there who wanted more from SH Figure Arts, but all things considered for this price point, for the size difference, the only thing they could do better is bring out one last Broly, which would be the OG classic uh, pre-Super Broly. That would be the only thing that would make me happier. But right now with this, it is a great, fantastic addition to the collection. I can't wait to start posing this thing, posting pictures online. I hope you guys enjoyed this review. Thumbs up the video. Subscribe to the channel. This is Showing Up The King. Have an awesome day.